Pepper says, are you ready to clear out and organize this coat closet before the holidays? I know I am. Hello everyone and welcome back to A Hoarder's Heart. For today, we are getting in this coat closet. We're clearing it out and reorganizing it. I have been wanting to get into this closet for the past couple of years. And now that it's fall, going into winter, this is the perfect time to finally get in here. I also want to give a special thank you to Lisa Sims 9959 for your super thanks donation. It means the world to me because it helps support my dream and for me to humanize hoarding disorder and continue to grow this channel. So this video is dedicated to you. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is go through all the coats. Now, let's just pull them all out. Like, this is one of my son's coat, but he hasn't worn it that much, so I have to see if he still wants it. Underneath of it? Oh my gosh. So I didn't even realize it was underneath of it. This was mine. This, oh. <laughs> I have a feeling a lot of these coats are going to be mine. <laughs> this is a really pretty dressy black coat that, yes, I would wear. So, yes, this is a key. Oh gosh, this is a lot of my stuff. <laughs> there is a nice winter dress coat in the lighter color, uh, in like a cream, a very light cream. I love this coat. Oh, boy. <laughs> this would be hubby's. So we'll have to ask him, he's still asleep because he works there chip. So we'll ask him what he wants to keep and what he wants to let go. Gosh, I'm starting to realize just how many winter coats I have. I wear this very frequently when it's not that wintry. So, oh boy. <laughs> This is my winter, winter coat. It's long when it's cold, cold. This is my, it goes past my knees. So that's when it's cold, cold. Oh, oh my gosh, I never realized this. <laughs> this is what I normally wear to soccer. <laughs> when it's cold and we're watching a game or anything kind of quick and casual, I will wear that coat. The North Face coat, just thinner. It's, I don't really wear this that much. I don't. I don't really wear this. It's really snug on me. You know what? Here we go. We're letting go of a coat. I can't believe I'm letting go of a North Face. That's, yeah, it's always snug on me. I'm not a big, I don't really like solid black. If it was gray, I'd probably be like, no, I can't let it go. But you know what? We're let that go. This would fit Tyler, but I need to ask if he wants to wear it. This one underneath, I feel like my kids have never worn it. They don't. I, we can let this one go. This coat can definitely go. It was my old winter coat before <laughs> the green winter coat, like the the all seasons winter coat. And you know what? Um, yeah, sure. God, who am I? I can let this one go. I mean, I didn't realize how many coats I had. So now all the coats are pulled out. So let's focus on the bottom. This is where I keep our vacuum. So I'm going to pull the big one out of here. And I found another coat that we can let go of. This is way too small. All right, so let's get the little mini vacuum out of here as well. And on the bottom, there is an eagle scarf. Now I asked Tyler, and he said that he does want to wear this this winter. So we'll throw it in the washer so he has it. And this right over here is my yoga mat from 2007 that I still use today. This is its home for it, so we'll keep it here. Now, this is the leaf to our table to extend it and make it bigger for Thanksgiving. So we tend to keep it here, but the piece of wood behind it, we don't have to keep it here. This was to extend it to make it even bigger when we have more people over. That part can actually be kept in the garage. Okay, so this back here, I'm kind of ashamed to say this. We probably bought this a couple years ago. It's a dust buster, like a handheld uh, vacuum. Never used it, it's not even open. I don't even know if the gosh darn thing works, but it's crazy that it was bought and never even opened and used. I'm feeling a little embarrassed saying that, but I mean, it's the truth, it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. But honestly, I would love to have a little quick dust buster to kind of clean quick, uh, quick stuff up. All right, so right in here is a little basket of the umbrellas. And this Care Bear tin 
yeah, I had this in college. So when we moved in 08, I just used it as an umbrella holder. This was mine in college. Yup, big oversized Hello Kitty umbrella. Of course I had two Hello Kitty umbrellas. This one's more of a child one. This one has been loved. It's really, oh, why is it so hard? They're just umbrellas, but I think it's more of the attachment that I, I know why. I used to use this umbrella and then I had saved it because I thought, oh, when I have a little daughter, she'll love this umbrella. So if I'm gonna let go of the umbrellas, I'll, I'll, I'll let go of this umbrella. There's another little girl who might actually love this. Hubby uses, this is Hubby's umbrella. This is the one I usually use, this one. This is a very old 80s one. It's kind of like the backup umbrella. I don't know why my kids don't really wear coats or use umbrellas very much. <laughs> I'm glad we've had warm winters cause it's, you know, I don't know why they don't wear coats or use umbrellas that much, but it's okay. They use their hoodies. I mean, honestly, I might like keep it. Oh yeah, there it goes. Oh boy, knocked everything out. I might just keep it in the car. So Here is a, Oh, a working flashlight. Okay, that's good. Oh my gosh, so on the bottom of this is like cutouts for Paw Patrol when hubby made a Paw Patrol stocking for Tyler when he was little. I can let go of the cutouts. <laughs> okay, now that the bottom is all cleared out, let's move to this top shelf because there's different baskets and there's just stuff overflowing up here. There's no organization to it. So let's see what we can declutter and let go of. There is a kid's winter coat in here and it's too small. It's a 10, 12. So we can let this coat go. So snow boots, that's what this is, is snow boots. And clearly these are from when the kids were little. It's like, a, it doesn't fit them. Yeah, it's a size three. So the snow boots are too small. We can let them go. Oh my gosh. Lightning McQueen snow boots for when they were little toddlers. Oh my heart. Okay, we can do this. Why am I getting the fields from this? Oh, probably because they used to play in the snow all the time. We used to get snow when they were little. <laughs> um, the right thing to do is to let them go. The right thing to do is to let them go. <laughs> this is, okay, this is a, a Harbaugh Village scarf, but I feel like for me, I, I already have so many scarves. So we can let that go. Okay, let's move on to this one. Now this is, looks like another coat that my guys probably outgrew. I do have a lot of coats that we're letting go of. And of course I'm gonna give them away for free because there's so many families that could use a winter coat for their children. This was Brandon's when he was a baby. Okay. Oh my gosh. Baby and hat. Oh my golly, I was not prepared for this guy. Baby puppy mittens. The mittens that match this. Gosh, I can't keep all of this. I was not ready for this. Really a humbling realization that I have come so far, but that, you know, my hoarding disorder is not gonna disappear. Like there's no cure to completely eradicate it. I'm just getting better with decisions and behavior patterns, but there's still some stuff that I get hung up on and that I still have some work to do. I'm gonna work through the emotional process of letting these go and giving them to another little one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I bought this years ago and forgot about it. We can let go of that hat. That was mine. I, that was from college, American Eagle, I think. Oh, yep. oh my gosh. Here's some BB gloves where they used to put the gloves and then somebody made this and then they would, you know, you put this through the coat and that way they don't lose their mittens. Believe it or not, I feel okay letting that one go. Wow, okay, I feel good with that. This is, oh, these used to be mine. So I have a lot of gloves in here and the reason why I have a lot of gloves is because I lose gloves like crazy. Some black ones, I mean, I, I don't need that. I'll keep a cheapy one because again, I always lose them. This, oh my gosh, this doesn't have a mate. That doesn't have a mate. So if I can't find the mate, then we can let that go. Oh, oh these were cool too, but I, I have not worn these in a very long time. Yeah, no. Oh my gosh, they're like ripping apart. They're ripping apart now. I don't need to keep on that. Okay, so up here are some hats and gloves that we have to go through. These are hubby's hats. <laughs> 
he's the one that's always out there with the boys shoveling and I feel like over the years just little Christmas gifts so I can't make decisions on this stuff here is my scarf that I crocheted in the 2000s and I still use the rest of the stuff from the shelving unit I'm just going to remove because these are designated homes like the rain ponchos right we know where the rain ponchos are I keep light bulbs in here just in case a light bulb goes out in the living room in the bedroom it's quick easy access this is also where I store candles now mostly for emergency candles like if we lose power it's nighttime I can get in this closet and light up a candle but I also want to use it for storing my pretty smelling candles as well and on the bottom shelves is new gloves I got last year for Christmas so we'll be making sure to use them this year and there's also more candles down here as well as flashlights. The boys like to take the flashlights outside sometimes and also again it's quick access in case we lose power. All right this closet is completely cleared out from bottom to the top so now let's start giving it a quick clean. I'm going to be dusting getting some of these little dust webs in the corners. I'm also going to be vacuuming this little patch on the bottom. Now this back of the door shelving unit is from when I was in college and honestly I went one with more shelves and hubby said that he can use this in his garage so we treated ourselves and bought ourselves a new back of the door shelving unit and of course hubby the builder is putting it all together for us and i had to admit wow i really do like this shelving unit and i also got these organizational bins that have the labels in the front i really like that because i want to write hats scarves and gloves on them and it's okay if you purchase organizational items with the intention of using it immediately it's not going to sit around to maybe use in the future because if i declutter and organize this then i'll use these bins no no i've done that for my whole life this time we're using them immediately and i really like how these look all right so <laughs> This is going to be a little emotional for me, but we're going to do the front of this door and it's time to finally take his kindergarten pictures down. These were the crafts that he made back in like, well, when he was in kindergarten, he's in seventh now. So like six years ago, right? And I asked Ty if it was okay to take it down and he said, yes, he's like, it's actually starting to get embarrassing as he gets older because they're still up. So it's time, it's okay. I'm not erasing their notches though. This is literally their height growth on the side here that I've done since they were little. I always thought I would transfer it to like a height chart and I will, but I'm not ready to erase this part, but we will take this down and really scrub down this door really well. And honestly, this door has so many chips on it that Honey in the future is gonna have to respray paint it. But in the meantime, I had the idea of grabbing a command hook. I have so many already in this bin, so I'm going to use exactly what I have. I'm going to put this sticker on the back of the hook put it onto the door because it's easy to come off for when hubby's going to spray paint it probably next year and hang up a wreath that i already have and now i'm feeling really really good about this because i organized a closet me a recovering hoarder was able to see clearly the function of this space. With my ADHD brain, I always struggled trying to organize because I couldn't picture in my mind how to organize. With the hoarding, it was always messy, so it made it that much harder. But I learned over time, this is a skill set that can be learned. Even if you're not naturally good at it, the more you practice, the more you learn how to clear and organize your spaces. But what really makes me excited is that this holiday season, when my family comes over, there's a spot to hang their coats up in the closet. I don't have to run and hide them in my bedroom and put them on the bed. They can freely open up this closet and I won't feel ashamed about it. And my hope and my prayer is that this video motivated and encouraged you to clean, declutter, and let something go in your home today too.